Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to make a tool to remove the crank pulley on my 2002 Isuzu Trooper, but this video should be applicable for uh, any of the uh, Isuzu 3.2 or 3.5 liter engines. Um, so if you've got a Rodeo or an Amigo um, or a Trooper or a Honda Passport or Acura SLX, this video should be helpful to you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You'll see that I've already got a socket installed on the 24 millimeter nut on the crank pulley. Let me remove the socket. You can see here's the nut. Um, so it would be nice if there was a way to hold the pulley in place easily so that we could just crank this nut counterclockwise to remove it. Unfortunately, if I put a breaker bar on here and turn this socket, the pulley's going to turn with it in unison and the nut's not going to come off. So what we need to do is hold the pulley stationary while we turn the nut. And Isuzu actually makes a tool for this, but of course I don't have it. I've heard it's expensive to buy if you can find it. Um, but thankfully it's um, an actually a pretty easy thing to fabricate yourself with a few pieces of metal and some screws. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I can't take any credit for this. I read about it online, but I thought I'd show a quick tutorial just for those of you who prefer watching a video as opposed to reading the write-up or seeing a bunch of pictures. So anyway, I hope this will be helpful. Um, what we need to do is <coughs> put a piece of metal bolt a piece of metal to the crank pulley and have it span over to the frame over here and rest on this frame so that as we turn turn the pulley or turn the nut in this direction that metal is going to want to spin with the pulley and bear over there um, so let me show you what I've got here um, got a piece of flat stock, two inch wide. Um, this is two feet long. I'm going to have to cut maybe four or five inches off the end of it. I think I only need about 19 or 20 inches. Um, and then we're going to put a hole for the uh, socket to fit through. I've got, I believe this is an inch and seven eighths hole saw that we'll use to drill through. <clears throat> and then I've got some uh, M8 by 1.25 stainless steel machine screws. Um, I'll need to put a, a hole on either side of the socket hole for these to go through and thread into the pulley and hold this flat stock tight to the pulley so it can bear on the frame. Um, let me show you the pulley again. If you look on either side of the socket, you'll see some threaded holes, one here and one here, and that's for those M8 by 1.25 screws to thread into. So we're going to, as I said, put a large hole in the center for the socket to fit through, and on either side we'll have a hole for the two machine screws to bolt the flat stock tight to the pulley, and then we'll be able to crank the nut off. So let me go ahead and get the flat stock marked up for my holes and we'll start drilling. Alright so you can see I've got my flat stock marked out. Um, I was wrong, this is actually a three foot piece. I only need half of it. I need, I need 18 inches roughly. I'm just going to cut it in half here and then you can see I've got my holes marked. Um, I believe I came in two and three quarters inches from the end to the first hole. Um, which is for one of the M8 by 1.25 screws. I'm going to make that a 3 8 inch diameter hole just so it gives me a tiny bit of play. Uh, a little bit of play on the screws not shouldn't hurt anything. It's going to be bolted tight to the pulley. Um, and, you know, if this thing twists a little bit, it's only going to twist until it hits the screws as I, as I crank the, the nut off. Um, then I marked out the other M8 by 1.25 hole which again is a 3 8 inch diameter. Um, that's what I'm going to use anyway. If I make it too tight, I'm afraid if my spacing is slightly off, then the screws won't be able to thread into the pulley. Uh, so I'm going to drill those out. Those are, I've measured three and a quarter inches center to center between them. And then the 
um, 24 millimeter nut is centered between those two. And I'm going to make that a 1 and 7 16 inch hole um, using this hole saw. Hopefully it'll uh, be sharp enough to bite through the steel. So I'm going to go ahead and get those drilled through and cut the bar to length and then we'll get it installed on the crank pulley and hopefully get this pulley removed shortly. All right, as you can see, I just finished uh, drilling the holes on my drill press. So I just need to get this cleaned up and take it to the vehicle and bolt it in place. Uh, and then we'll uh, see if we can get the pulley off. All right, I've got the tool fabricated and ready to bolt into the uh, engine compartment. The, uh, the drill bits and, uh, and hole saw actually cut really easily on my drill press. I just used some lubricant to, uh, I didn't have any cutting oil, I'll use PB Blaster, but it did the trick. Just had to go pretty slowly with the uh, hole saw so it didn't bind up, but um, it just took a few minutes and it gave me a nice clean hole. Um, so I'm ready to bolt this in now. Uh, you can see I've got the M8 by 1.25 uh, bolts, and I've also got a washer around each one, and we're ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this in position and get it bolted in. All right, you can see I've got the tool in place. It's resting on the frame over here. And I've got the two bolts started in their threads. I ended up putting the socket in its hole first to hold the tool in place. Then I was able to hand thread the bolts, and now I'm just ready to tighten them up. And then obviously the idea is going to be Put a breaker bar or a large socket on here, turn it counterclockwise. Obviously the tool we built is going to try to turn that same direction. It's going to rest on the frame, lock the pulley from turning, and then the nut will be able to spin, spin independently. So uh, this took me maybe 30 minutes of time, maybe 15 bucks in materials, and now I'm well on my way to uh, getting this crank pulley off. So I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, it's uh, definitely much cheaper than buying the tool, and it's, you know, it gives you the satisfaction of being able to fabricate something on your own. It's very simple. Anybody can do this if you need to get the crank pulley off for some reason, which in my case I do because I need to remove the timing cover. cover. So anyhow, um, hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.